everyone welcome to this updated video i really hope you're doing amazing this morning and we're going to be looking at weather conditions across the caribbean and what is expected as we head through today but firstly an update in regards to seismic activity so this is a map uh showing the most recent earthquakes in the region over the past 24 hours so there was one in the Tiburon Peninsula of Haiti yesterday morning and a few others within the vicinity of Puerto Rico. All week earthquakes, the strongest was an estimated magnitude 3.6 shaken and uh, that one was offshore. So nothing crazy going on in terms of earthquakes in the Caribbean region. Thankfully, nothing out of the norm really. So let's get on to weather conditions. And here we can see that across the Atlantic, there is that frontal system which is uh, continuing to move out to the east. Now, that is the same system that brought all the severe weather to parts of the United States a few days ago. So it's offshore now, it's moving out. And there are a few cloud clusters in the Caribbean region, as we're seeing within the vicinity of Hispaniola and even towards Central America, where there is some shower activity this morning. But for other areas, such as most of Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, uh, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, the ABC Islands, but just not going on. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, the sun is out, but it's also going to be another windy day. And we'll be looking at that forecast very soon. So as it relates to rainfall activity, let's go through it. As the map becomes more colorful, that is indicative of more rain for that particular area. And we're seeing more of that color uh, within the vicinity of Belize, the Keys, the Bay Islands of Honduras, maybe some spots in eastern Guatemala, northern Honduras, uh, down to parts of Costa Rica, Panama near the Caribbean coast, and towards Hispaniola, which includes Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So those areas are likely to experience some substantial rainfall, uh, maybe even some thunderstorms as well as we head through today. And then for the Lesser Antilles, Anguilla through Trinidad, Tobago, including Barbados, some showers may move by that a higher chance is likely to be for areas such as Martinique, Dominica, maybe even Guadeloupe. So those intermittent showers moving in from the east. ABC Islands, parts of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, much of Cuba likely to be on the dry side. Same story, northern Bahamas, the Florida Peninsula. But uh, for some spots in Jamaica, a few showers may move by later today. Same thing for the Turks and Caicos Islands. Then for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, there was some decent rain in some areas yesterday. So uh, today that rainfall chances decreasing, but some showers are still likely to be around. Even this morning, uh, there are a few showers being indicated by radar in parts of Puerto Rico. Now going down to South America, so along the uh, Pacific coast of Colombia, we can see that it gets it gets pretty colorful there. So there may be some heavy rain at times, which may even result in some flooding. But uh, further inland, going to Venezuela, parts of Guyana, Suriname, much not expected today, although there could be some downpours. Going on to the wind forecast, so we're still seeing all these purples and blues across the region. So it's going to be another windy day, as I said, those winds uh, up to 20 knots or 23 miles per hour gusts even stronger than that and the strongest winds are likely to be just offshore colombia and some of the strongest winds there could be over 50 miles per hour so that's definitely some tropical storm force winds so very active in the caribbean and not just that but the wave heights as well so on the atlantic side of the eastern islands those wave heights up to six maybe even seven feet for some areas offshore of the eastern Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and Lesser Antilles. Of course, Barbados is in the Atlantic Ocean, so uh, surrounding Barbados are those higher seas. And then as we head to the Central Caribbean and the South Caribbean, we can see some of those yellow shadings popping up. So seas there up to around 11 feet or so. But elsewhere in the Caribbean region and for the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, anywhere from below a foot to going up to around 4 or 5 feet and uh, Bermuda is out there where it's a lot more active offshore of the eastern United States wave heights there could be uh, probably around eight to nine going up to ten feet thereabout now in terms of that rainfall surge which I was uh, showing you guys in previous videos so that is still expected as we're going to be heading into the coming week around Tuesday Wednesday thereabout and uh, some of those islands may experience more rainfall compared to 
what it's been like since the start of the year where things have been so dry. So that would be some good news, as I mentioned before. It would certainly help out with the drought conditions that some areas are experiencing. But uh, of course, I'm going to be keeping you posted on it. I'll be talking more about it as the week commences. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video. And I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be with the wise.